Hi guys, Toby here for TP23 Productions. Now I've got a uh, film review. I was watching it the other night and uh, I thought I'd give it a quick review really. And that film that I was watching was called Carrie. Now Carrie is uh, from 2013. It is a remake from the 1976 version of the film with the same name, Carrie. And it's from Stephen King's book, also with the same name, from 1974. Now. As I've mentioned, it is a remake, and this remake stars Chloe Grace Mortez and Julianne Moore. And that's pretty much all the stars and well-known faces in the film. There are other people, obviously, but they are the two standout sort of uh, cast members in the film. Chloe Grace Mortez, who I've never really seen in any other film, apart from uh, she's in Kick-Ass, which I've never really seen. Um, she is Carrie, and Julianne Moore plays Carrie's mum. And at the start of the film, we see Julianne Moore partially covered in blood. And uh, the camera pans up the stairs following blood droplets. And we see Julianne Moore, as I mentioned, partially with blood on her. And uh, she's on the bed and she's calling out for God and Jesus and all this. Uh, talking a lot of uh, Bible, holy nonsense. None of it's really something you can understand. Yeah, she's mumbling all this stuff and she's screaming. Then all of a sudden she seems to uh, randomly give birth. And she pulls away her dressing gown and uh, there's the baby. Randomly just appearing. Not even screaming or making any noise. And Julianne Moore nearly stabs Carrie, that we know of, in, uh, in the face. Almost kills Carrie with a pair of scissors. But for some reason she stops herself. And uh, it jumps to about 16 years later. Carrie's about 15, 16. And uh, Carrie's a young girl. She's in high school. And uh, she's a bit of the weird kid. She's one that doesn't fit in. She's uh, like the black sheep almost at school. You know, the sore thumb sticks out. And uh, that's Carrie. And there's an incident in... Uh, PE, doing PE and it's water polo and uh, Carrie delivers the ball and hits a popular girl in the back of the head. Everyone's laughing and uh, I, I honestly thought, I thought uh, Carrie was going to be introduced into the popular group and everything was going to be fine and uh, she wasn't going to be the black sheep anymore but that was not the case. The next scene really you see Carrie, she's in the shower and um, it's her lady time of the month and she doesn't know what's going on and she's in pain and all the girls tease her well she starts getting bullied really and they throw things at her and uh, one of them decides to film it and put it on YouTube this is where more bullying starts for the poor girl um, they have to call in Carrie's mum Julianne Moore Julianne Moore's not very pleased Carrie arguing saying that you should have told me about the woman time of the month and all this Pretty much all the way through, Carrie's mum, Julianne Moore, just mumbles religious stuff all the way through. It's Jesus this and God this and you're a, you're part of the devil. I mean, the girl's only got a period, really, and uh, yeah, she's calling her the devil. You've had sex and all this. It's like, whoa, calm down. I mean, in a way, you feel a bit sorry for Carrie because it's only a girly time of the month. She's bullied at school. Her mum's brought her up in a religious house. Her mum's a complete religious nut job. Yeah, Kerry keeps getting bullied. So you kind of feel sorry for her in a way. A PE teacher um, takes this all under advisement and uh, she punishes all the girls that were involved in uh, bullying Kerry in uh, her delicate lady time of the month. There's this one girl that sets out to destroy Kerry. She's going to humiliate her. She's going to bully her some more and uh, she's going to do it along with her boyfriend who's not at the school that they all go to. So the one girl who uh, sets out to destroy Carrie, the girl's suspended from school and she can't go to prom. And this is where the popular girl who got hit in the back of the head during water polo decides to uh, let her boyfriend take Carrie to the prom to cheer up and make her feel all happy and la di da and all that. And before prom, Carrie discovers her powers. She discovers um, that she has powers and she can move objects. 
She moves the objects not just with um, the power of her mind, but also with her hand. So hand movements help her move objects. As the film progresses, she's able to move objects that are larger in size. So at the start it's like a pencil, pages on a book, then she's moving books herself. And then at one point she's lifting up her own bed. So she discovers her powers and uh, like I've mentioned as the film gets on, how it gets stronger. And she's be able to lift more and uh, be more destructive. And with the boyfriend of uh, the popular girl taking characters the prom, it's a good idea. You know, they're having a good time. And you think how good it's going to be and um, how, you know, Carrie deserves it. How, you know, the, the bullied kid should should have some happiness really and uh, fair play to the girlfriend who's letting her boyfriend uh, take Carrie to the prom you know fair play you know well done and all that and you know same with the boyfriend who's taking her to the prom well done you know well then something happens and uh, things go a bit pear-shaped everything goes wrong the happiness all turns to uh, sadness really and uh, yeah, that's as far as the story I'm going to tell you, which is quite a lot of it really. But Carrie, like I've said, it was in 2013 when the film was made. It is a remake from 1976. 1974 is when the book came out. Uh, I've never seen the original. All of the original that I do know of is that there's a sort of uh, party. I think it is still the prom. And I think in the original, something gets destroyed. Don't want to give too much of the story away. But well, there's one scene that everybody knows of with the blood and the gore and the violence. And that scene is uh, depicted in the 2013 version. And pretty much that's the only bit of the 1976 version of Carrie that I know about. There is a uh, twist pretty much at the end of the film. It does set it up for a sequel. Um, it's not too bad a film. It's an okay sort of horror film. If you can call it horror. There's... There's a bit of uh, violence going on. At the end of the film there is a lot of blood used. Um, but it's not too bad. It's probably a 15 rated sort of... You know, just 15 sort of rated film. But it's alright. If uh, you've seen the original then probably watch this one. Just to see what it's all about. You know, see if it's any good. Um, I haven't seen the original but I jumped straight in and watched this one. I thought it was alright. It's not too bad brings it up to date and uh, makes it fresh. But Chloe Grace Mortez, um, she's been in Kick-Ass and she's you know a young rising star so she's never really been in a violent horror film before but in her debut film she's not too bad you know she does okay she holds her own she uh, depicts the legendary Carrie pretty well uh, she plays the bullied black sheep pretty well but it's not too bad of a film it's alright uh, might be worth a watch but I pretty much enjoyed it it's an okay sort of horror film um, so yeah if you've ever seen the original then uh, you want to check this out then please go ahead if you're a fan of Julianne Moore and you want to see her as a bible bashing mother definitely for you Chloe Grace Mortez if you're a fan of hers and you want to see her in a horror film check out uh, Carrie 2013 but yeah, I was watching it the other night, I thought I'd give it a quick review and also read the devoted links on down below as per usual. Use TobyWTD, gets you 20% off any We The Devoted gear, links down below. But thank you for watching my review of Carrie from 2013, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Mm. Curry while reviewing Carrie.